global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again and we want to use this opportunity to thank those who have supported us by subscribing to our channel and those who have viewed, like and also share our videos. We say thank you very much and also we want to use the opportunity to solicit the support of those who have not subscribed just ensure you hit on that resubscribe button all right we are going straight to the gunfire incident that took place in the presidential villa and we are here to give you an update if you want to know how it all happened just go check our feed you will see at least two videos the latest which is uh, the revelation by femi fanny Kayode, the former minister of aviation during uh jonathan that's good luck jonathan period he talked about how the aides of uh, president muhammadu buhari threatened the family the wife and the family of uh, buhari via a gunshot and all of that and most people have been waiting to hear the president speak to a point that castigations are coming from different angles especially for him being quiet for so long but guess what he has spoken but i think one of those that really castigated him so much was actually pdp when they talked about um the problem that has been existing that they had been a protracted spite between the first lady aisha buhari and the aides of buhari and that he had now de degenerated into violent combat raids and free use of firearm within the presidential video. And it's a pointer to the failure in security that Nigeria is currently encountering. All right, but guess what? The president has decided to speak out this time around. And I'm going to give you an update to what he actually said. All right, and but after then, then we may go into discussion. And the presidency has reacted to this shooting incident that happened in the presidential villa on Thursday. Recall that the First Lady Aisha Buhari had cried out over the arrest and detention of her aide de camp by the Inspector General of Police. The presidency said President Muhammadu Buhari said the law shall be allowed to take its course. The shooting which involved the wife of the President Aisha Buhari, her children and some presidential aides has since degenerated a lot of reactions from Nigeria. The presidency, in a statement signed by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Gaba Shehu, said that the president, Muhammadu Buhari, was not in danger, adding that the incident happened outside the main residence of the president. According to him, and I quote his word, he said, the presidency wishes to acknowledge concern expressed by several members of the public regarding the recent incident among the occupants of the state house which escalation led to the arrest of some staff by the police this is to assure all and everyone that the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces muhammadu buhari is not and was not at any point in any form of danger arising either from deadly infection or the reported incident by security personnel which is currently under investigation this particular incident happened outside the main residence of the president armed guards and other security personnel assigned to the state house received the necessary training of especially weapon handling and where they came short the relevant agency have their rules and regulation to immediately address them Having authorized the proper investigation to be carried out into this unfortunate incident by the police, the president has acted in compliance with the rule of law that a major occurrence is being used by some critics to justify attack on the government and the person of President Muhammadu Buhari is beggarly believed. In this particular instance, the president says the law should be allowed to take its own cause that is what the president said and that means that he has decided to allow the police to properly investigate the issue and to come up with a, a proper report so that we will know what was really really behind it 
Uh, first and foremost, uh, we want to admire what uh, the presidency has done. You know, for the first time, something had happened and uh, um, the presidency had, had admitted that it truly happened because we've seen different cases happen and um, the president will just come out or presidency will come out and deny it. And secondly, what I have to say is the fact that the reason why we are having different version of stories from the presidency in respect to this issue is always that case of delay in speaking, delay in opening up. And for me, I, I don't think it's even ideal for um, this guy to come out, Gaba Shehu, to come out and talk about this. It would have been a case of possibly media chat with Nigerians because already it has gone very far. People have made different statements. It's a case where the presidency need to just come out and speak to the people so that they are sure that he is well and okay then for just one individual who is working with the president to come and tell us most people believe that it's just a product of his mind said hey um gabashi who just write something and tell nigerians about it because there's a lot of uh, talking online so so that we can stop all that talking just write something and tell them most people believe that it's not the heartbeat of the president. Some even have gone as far as saying that the president is not even in the know about the whole thing that had happened. You know, so uh, issues like this, uh, because of how delicate, you know, already what we have on ground is uh, one of the greatest challenges that we have is the case of insecurity. So if it has spilled into, you know, presidency, presidential villa, I think the ideal thing would have been for the president to come out and speak but however uh, we want to accept the fact that he had also he had spoken about it and you know most people believe that this issue of presidency presidency it doesn't make any sense if it is the people working with him talking just say the people working with him and uh, if it is president uh, muhammad buhari let it also be made known so that nigerians will know what is actually happening all right and um, right now i'm looking at this issue it's really serious serious in the sense that if this had taken place in asura as is well said it, it, it's not good enough because it, it, it has a, a lot to say it has connotational meaning on the governance it has a lot to say about how the how the country is being governed because just like pdp said for it to degenerate to a point whereby guns have been fired in the presidential villa, it means that, number one, these guys have no respect for the presidency, for the president. Because if you know that the president is had the uh, rules and regulation governing presidential villa and that the president is fully in charge, you wouldn't dare try to fire a shot inside that place, except in the case of possible external uh, 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 invasion okay one can say that it's it's okay you know but just normal clash inward clash and all of that now you know most people are now talking about when this man was alive as uh, uh yari was alive abba yari was alive that such never happened that it's a pointer to the fact that he was the one fully regulating and running the show of the presidency you know, these things, uh, they are really bad. Whoever that is behind this whole act, after the investigation, I, I suggest that such a person should be dealt with and let it be a kind of warning to all other persons who, who are even conceiving in mind, conceiving in their minds to do such a thing. Let it be clearly shown that the presidency is not in support of any form of disorderliness in the presi in presidential villa because this has you know it has it's it spoiled the whole show for this government it's one of the low point of this government I, i've never heard it during a period of president muhammad ubu and uh, sorry um jonathan it never happened yeah there could be periods of argument and all of that but resulting to gun uh, firing and the likes it's not good enough after a while who knows what will happen in future if this one is just played down on it's not really good let me just read one or two things that nigerians have said about it this one here says um 
Yes, we understand what you meant to by presidency statement. Yes, not president or president Buhari statement. But you even identify yourself as SSA to the president, not presidency. But this statement is of the presidency. You are trying and some of you who have common sense understand. This one say mist of priorities. Who else will care with this? We want to see a physical action towards insecurity in the north. Really, I have day of confidence. If Mr. President is aware of what's happening in the north, or he just wants to prove his stubbornness towards us, please let him feel the flow of our dreadful tears. Mm. This one said, we are not concerned with whoever was in Asurok as Commander-in-Chief, security agencies and staff of the villa because they are not concerned with us in our villages. Wow, this one is getting angry there. And I want to say, Gawa Shewu, please advise the president to do the needful by restructuring the security architecture of this country or else the entire support base is madly shaky right now. And I want here say, is this a presidential statement or press release? My brother, I did not see any statement here. It's better you keep quiet. And another one says here, quota system general that cannot reign, reign in his wife or members of the kitchen cabinet or protect his own state for that matter, but he can order his Gatapo security agencies to harass and murder innocent and unarmed protesters and critics. Jonathan, with all his weaknesses and patient with all her notorious attitude, did not bring Asurok to such scandalous disrepute. A lot of things Nigerians are saying right now. And I think um, that uh, presidency has spoken. Let's wait to see what will be the result of the investigation. That's where we're going to leave it. Go to our comment section.